Hey, this is Dutch Mogul, and today I'm going to talk to you about 3D Builder. If you're using Windows 10, you have access to 3D Builder. If you haven't accessed it before, search for it in the App Store, and then you'll be able to open it. To open, simply right-click on your model file and select Open with 3D Builder. Once your model is imported, click on it. Cursors will appear that will allow you to move your model, rotate it, or even scale it. As you're moving and rotating the model, you'll find that it clicks automatically at certain points, such as the 90 degree angles here when you're rotating. When scaling the model, you can scale the entire thing at once by clicking the little circular nodes up at the corners, or you can scale in one direction by grabbing the arrows. Sometimes you may want to reduce the complexity of your models. To do so, select Edit and Simplify. A little scalar will appear. This is the percentage by which it will reduce the triangle count. Simply set it to the value you like and hit Reduce Faces. Sometimes when you import a model, it will come in corrupted. Other times, it will become corrupted as part of another procedure such as Reduce. A little red box will appear around the model if this is the case. Simply click on the option to fix and it'll do the work for you. Plane cuts are an incredibly handy feature. They allow you to create a flat surface or shear off a piece that you don't like. You may manipulate the plane with the arrow cursors, or you can hold shift and use the up and down arrow keys to move the plane up and down. When you have the area you want to be cut, select Split. The flat edge will then be created. To settle the object on the plate, select Object and Settle, and it'll drop to the surface. Importing additional objects is a snap. Go to Insert and Add. A field will appear that will allow you to access your files for additional SDLs or OBJs or whatever file type you're using. Now that I have the base aligned with the fly, a process that benefited from the auto snap feature, I'm going to select the fly and raise it so that it's just slightly inset into the base. We still have two models that are overlapping one another. To merge the models, select them both, and then go up to Edit, and select Merge. Then you'll have a complete model that's fully clean and ready to print.